What if I told you that Iran and Venezuela are building one of the most advanced stealth drones in the world? In a bold move, these nations have combined resources to create a fleet that could shift the balance of power. The Ansu 200, their flagship project, has capabilities that rival even the best in the industry. But how did this partnership come about, and what does it mean for the future? Stick around to find out. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we delve into an extraordinary story of military collaboration between two nations, Iran and Venezuela. From shared geopolitical interests to cutting-edge drone technology, this partnership has become a vital part of their defense strategies. In this video, we'll explore the history, milestones, and implications of this cooperation, highlighting the pivotal role drones play in strengthening their alliance. Let's get started. The story begins in the early 2000s, during Iran's 10th government, and a period of strengthened political relations with Venezuela. This close partnership extended beyond diplomacy to trade and military cooperation, setting the stage for significant technological exchanges. One of the earliest fruits of this collaboration was the establishment of a production line for Iran's Mohajer 2 drone in Venezuela. The Mohajer 2, a lightweight piston-engine drone developed by Iran's Ministry of Defense, was first unveiled in a Venezuelan military parade in 2012. It has since remained operational in Venezuela, showcasing its reliability. Recently, with Iran's technical support, the drone received major upgrades under Venezuela's Ansu-100 program. These upgrades transformed the Mohajer 2 from a reconnaissance drone to a combat-capable platform equipped with wheeled landing gear and the ability to carry four miniature bombs. Over the years, Iran and Venezuela's military partnership has flourished, particularly in the aerospace domain. Iran's contributions include the provision of production and assembly lines, as well as complete aerial systems. Notable examples in the manned aircraft category are the Fajr-20 and Fajr-3 planes, which are assembled in Venezuela under the names Simón Bolívar 130 and Simón Bolívar 200. While primarily designed for training, these aircraft have potential for combat adaptations based on Venezuelan requirements. In addition to manned aircraft, Iranian drones of various classes have been introduced to Venezuela. These include... Yazdan Drone, a hand-launched reconnaissance drone used by Venezuela's signal interception units. Shaheen Drone, a vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, drone exhibited internationally. Mohajer 6 Drone, a medium-sized multi-role drone with a 12-hour flight endurance, capable of deploying precision-guided munitions like Quam bombs and Almaz missiles. These drones underscore the depth and breadth of Iran's contributions to Venezuela's military capabilities. The crown jewel of this collaboration is undoubtedly the Ansu-200 Drona Stealth jet-powered flying wing UAV developed jointly by Iran and Venezuela. Unlike the widely recognized Shahed series drones, the Ansu-200 represents a new direction in drone design. Its advanced stealth features, jet engines, and wheeled landing gear signify a leap in technological sophistication. Interestingly, the Ansu 200's design diverges significantly from Iran's earlier flying wing drones like the Cymorg, which is based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. This indicates that the Ansu 200 might be an entirely new project, possibly influenced by Iran's earlier Gadir drone concept, that was shelved due to funding constraints. With Venezuela's financial support, this ambitious project has now come to life. The Ansu 200 boasts several cutting-edge features, including internal weapons bays for stealth operations, retractable landing gear, and advanced optical targeting systems. While early prototypes are smaller, final versions are expected to feature wingspans of 14 to 15 meters larger than Iran's Simorg drone. One critical component of this drone is its engine. The Jahesh 700 turbofan engine, derived from the RQ-170's power plant, is expected to power the Ansu 200. This engine can propel drones weighing up to 4 tons to altitudes of 60,000 feet. 
Testing of the Jahesh 700 is underway and mass production is anticipated soon. Venezuela's active role in the ANSU 200 project highlights its commitment to technological self-reliance. By investing in advanced aerospace technology, Venezuela not only enhances its defense capabilities, but also secures a strategic partnership with Iran. Given Venezuela's ongoing territorial disputes and border tensions, these drones will play a pivotal role in reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and precision strikes. Smaller variants of the Ansu 200 are expected to serve as kamikaze drones, while larger versions will undertake advanced combat missions. The Ansu 200 marks a new era in drone technology for both Iran and Venezuela. Its development signifies a deepening alliance and a shared vision for technological and military advancement. As these nations continue to collaborate, the world will be watching closely. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the Iran-Venezuela Drone Partnership. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more in-depth analyses of global defense and technology trends. See you in the next video.